Uh, you mentioned that IMDA actually rejected uh, or asked you to remove three parts of your speech. How exactly did they do it? Did they do it in person or through email? How did that happen? I'm told to smile before I answer, so I smile. I receive approval uh, of my nomination at one o'clock. At one o'clock on uh, Tuesday. I have to submit the script of my broadcast to IMDA by a deadline the following day. I have to prepare the script in English, translate into Chinese, Malay, and Tamil and present four printed copies and a soft copy. It was very rushed. How do you expect me with many things to take care of with the campaign to meet this requirement? It's okay. I submitted. Uh, I asked uh, my campaign team to submit the uh, uh, to submit uh, my script in four languages to IMDA who then came back and said these three paragraphs have to be removed and that was on Wednesday uh, that was on Wednesday nomination was on Tuesday on Wednesday uh, in the afternoon they asked for it to be removed the recording Sorry, I, I might have got the, the days wrong. The recording was done uh, yesterday without these three paragraphs. But never mind, I have other ways of conveying this important message. And this is the message that I convey today. Now, the next few days, uh, I will be giving media release on the challenges I face in this campaign. I will be giving another release on the uh, wonderful young people who invited me for a podcast. They, were, they did it very well, very professionally. When I watch the podcast, I say this is the future for Singapore. Young people who are honest in presenting the views positively and fairly. I'm supposed to smile again, so I smile. Uh, I do ask our mainstream media to follow the example of the young people. How to present news honestly and fairly. I will tell you what are the podcasts. These are wonderful young people. When I watch the way they present, I said they are very fair. They took my words, but they presented it very fairly. So that will be a future broadcast. I know our young reporters here, uh, you do the best you can. You submit the script to your editor, who then decide what to do, how to replace it. I, I know. So thank you all uh, for doing your job honestly and fairly. And uh, I will therefore talk about this in the future. Uh, event over the next few days. Uh, Mr. Kai, sorry, uh, first you want to, you know, engage more young voters, but then uh, most of your work about are at hawker centres and then there's one university that's been planned and also the four podcast. Do you have any other plans to engage even more voters? I was, I was invited by the young people who are active in creating content on social media. Uh, I cannot tell you the names now because it's not in my head. Uh, but they, are, they did an excellent job. I participated in four podcasts. 
every podcast is one hour, uh, maybe longer. Uh, I can just name you some of these podcasts. Uh, one of them is called Yala Bat. That's a podcast. Another one is called uh, The Political Group. And the two, the other two names I cannot recall now. When I saw their production, I say, this is excellent. And I am therefore hopeful for the young people of Singapore. If they can do such good quality work, uh, I think Singapore has a good future. Are you planning to go to other places where you get podcasts? These four podcasts, they told me how much it reached. Uh, how much it reached. Uh, I total them up 100,000 people. Uh, and these are people who view. Yes, uh, I'm very glad that uh, I have uh, reached out to a lot of people. Uh, and uh, also, uh, I plan on this Saturday uh, to go to uh, NUSS, National University of Singapore Society. Uh, it will be at 3 o'clock and I don't I think they will arrange a group of people uh, so I will publicize this uh, so that other people can come but I'm sure there will be media to record and to convey uh, to convey the, uh, the views of the young people so it will be on this Saturday so watch out in the journalist group the, the details of that arrangement so, you're also using social media to reach out to the young can you talk about the issue of you taking down some of the social media posts I will talk about that in my next uh, event when I talk about the media I will talk about that uh, but I have privately talked to you by views I will tell you later on Mr. Tan, so you just now you said that your physical rally is cancelled, right? And you're doing it online instead. So are you worried that you will lose the attendance of those who may not be as savvy? Uh, I'm not worried. The people who are not uh, in the social media are in the market on the train. Uh, my outreach to them is excellent. And their response to me is excellent. Three out of four recognize me. I don't have to ask them to vote for me. They told me they will vote for me on their own. And some say their whole family will vote, will vote for me. So therefore, reaching out uh, to the uh, people who are not on social media uh, is not a problem for me. Uh, Mr. Tan, I have a question on funding. Because um, you, have, you have a social media campaign, you have a merchandise, you have posters, and then you have this uh, online rally that's happening before uh, going off day. So, can you share us a bit of, on the funding for your campaign? My campaign is largely funded by me. I have to be frugal. I do not spend large sums of money. I manage the spending carefully. I've done that when I was in NTUC income for 30 years. I've done that after I left NTUC income and I also am doing it at this campaign. So I am frugal in what I spend. I always see is it necessary is it cost effective? It's more important than how much do I spend. It's much more important. Uh, so I'm, fund, I'm uh, funding this on my own. How much will I spend? Uh, I think it should be less than $100,000. But it is still a large sum of money to a retired person. I want to thank a few people who responded uh, to the uh, fundraising. Uh, I have a fundraising, a few people responded, including people that surprised me. Most of my donations are for $10, $20, 
some are 100 there are a few $1,000 donations and the one that touched me is from he called himself an entrepreneur he's doing transport business he drove a car for a living he donated 1000 I appreciate this kind of gesture but everybody who donate 10 20 dollars I'm also happy because they represent the people who says this is a small sum of money I can afford I want to make my contribution play a part Mr. Tan, so just now you talked about how you are trying to be as efficient with the amount of money that you spend as possible, right? So yesterday, Taman and Goksang talked about um, being environmentally friendly with preparing their campaign materials. So can we ask if this was also one of your considerations? I put up 5,000 posters and I will be distributing 100,000 micro brochures. The micro brochures are the size of a postcard. On one side is the is my campaign poster, but reduced to micro size. On the other side is a photo of the Singapore we all love. The Malayan, the city skyline. That micro poster I'm very proud. It will be ready tomorrow. I will give that to the people of Singapore so that they will know not only my campaign they will also keep it as a souvenir for their children and grandchildren I was there in 2023 I supported Tan Kim Lian and this is the souvenir I assure you my 5,000 posters and 200,000 flyers is a very small part uh, of the uh, material uh, that goes out every day uh, materials that are used for all purposes will overwhelm overwhelm uh, the paper that I use even the government when they send out letters in four languages about the GST voucher, the mailing would overwhelm my micro posters by 10 times. So please don't, please put things in proper proportion. I am not harming the environment or I harm the environment on a small scale compared to what the government does uh, year in, year out, month in and month out. Um, so IMDA has said asked to remove some paragraphs from your speech and you've also brought your campaign made certain goals, said that you will try to achieve certain goals that other constitutional uh, experts have said are not within the law of the president. Is it a possibility that you are making commitments that you won't be able to fulfill to your elected? I have already answered that in my speech just now, so please go back and listen to what I have said. It's already answered. Uh, Mr. Kano, the aspect of donations, we heard you said... I can't hear you. I know you are helping me with your mask, but I can't hear you. On the aspect of donations, we heard that your team made police report on certain people who are appropriating your process and asking for donations. Can you please elaborate on that? There are... I received a letter from the Elections Department. Uh, Mr. Tan, there's a video going round uh, where somebody is uh, asking for donation using an EUEN account. Uh, can you do something about it? Now, the election department, I want to commend them again. They have been very fair and helpful to me. And they bring this to my attention. Uh, my reply to the election department is quite polite. I said, I do not know enough content to be able to make a police report. You want to make a police report, the police expect you to provide sufficient evidence, content. Otherwise, they will waste their time. So I said, I do not know enough content. Can you provide me the actual material that is being circulated? Furthermore, 
uh, that fake video is not from my campaign somebody fake it and they quoted a UEN the UEN is a company's UEN I try to use my PELA to reach to make a contribution at first I thought I'll contribute one cent to that UEN and then I said maybe 10 cents I'll contribute 10 cents so that I know who they are uh, PELA does not recognize UEN so I have to go in later on when I have the time with a uh, bank app the bank app recognizes UEN uh, PELA does, does not so I will go with the bank app to contribute 10 cents in the process I know who uh, is the fake person it is uh, a scam cheating people I don't have to do it anybody can do it the government with their thousands and tens of thousands of police officers they can do it just go to a bank act and contribute 10 cents to see who is the party receiving it the media can do it any of you can do it and you have more time than me you have more time than me so therefore I told the election department I do not have I do not know how it's being circulated but since I have a UEN later on on my bank act I will contribute and find out who is the party and I will make a police report it does not have to be me anybody could have done it so I hope that Singaporeans, please, have the initiative. Uh, Mr Tan, you spoke that if you were elected, you would want to use your uh, position to influence policies in the country. Um, and also yesterday, uh, Mr Tan spoke about um, whether uh, that, that if uh, the, the president needs to have a good relationship with the uh, good, good, uh, relationship with the prime minister to be able to have this kind of influence. So do you feel confident uh, to be able to uh, build a relationship of respect and trust with the PM? First, I want to talk about Mr. Taman, whom I respect very much, and I do not agree with Mr. Taman's comment. I don't want to com I want to don't want to talk about Mr. Taman's comment. If your question to me is, uh, do I expect to have a good relationship with the Prime Minister? I hope to, that it will be a good relationship. Uh, I hope it will be. On my part, I will do my best. I cannot control what the Prime Minister will feel but on my part, I will do my best. Mr Tan, can I just go back to the IMDA um, episode that you brought up just now? When they told you that they were going to remove the three paragraphs, how did you respond to them on the spot and why do you think they did it? I was not in IMDA. My campaign uh, team went to IMDA I happen to be somewhere else, quite busy somewhere else. I have other things to attend to. My, cam my, uh, my campaign team tried to contact me. I only received the message after the IMDA deadline. I was not able to respond within the deadline. Uh, anyway, uh, my campaign person use his initiative and I, I commend him. He did what needs to be done on the spot. He couldn't reach me, so he did what has to be done. He removed those three paragraphs. That's not a problem to me. I got other avenues to publicize those three paragraphs, which I'm doing today. So, uh, I want to say again, uh, back to my wonderful wife uh, she will come with me tomorrow uh, if she's uh, have a good night's sleep and recovered uh, she is quite worried uh, about the uh, malicious comments uh, on social media uh, she's quite worried about that uh, and uh, she's also worried about me 
that I might not have enough sleep and that I may, that I may be under heavy stress. Uh, okay, uh, so she's quite worried and she will come tomorrow. Now my wife is a homemaker. I'm very proud of her. Uh, she accompanied me on international trips every year for over 20 years. And even for the five years that I am the chairman of the International Cooperative Federation. In those in overseas trips, she met with the top leaders of insurance cooperatives 10, 20, 30 times the size of NTUC income. She received much admiration from the top leaders and the spouses of these uh, big companies. They respect her for her grace, for her beauty, and although she's not a career woman, she talked about children and food and very well received. So she was very much appreciated and I want to introduce her to the people of Singapore tomorrow or the day after so that they can be proud that she will be a wonderful first lady to adorn our offices. Uh, and also to represent Singapore in the international stage and she is a blue-blooded Singaporean she is not someone born elsewhere uh, who come into Singapore she is a true blue-blooded Singaporean I hope Singapore people will be proud of her thank you Sorry, Mr. Tan. Is it okay you ask one more question? Uh, okay. We'll ask private question. Okay, come.